back again. Let's go see what we can find today. Go to our favorite aisle first. A lot of people here, I tried coming a little earlier, but we'll see what we can get. Okay, it's hard to video today. A lot of people. Um, this looks like a lot of the same stuff in the first miscellaneous aisle. <laughs> Great minds drink alike. Um, yeah. I don't see much new stuff here today. That's still here. That's pretty. Um, no lid though. Cute basket. Really not much, not much, not much new. Not much new here. Oh, paper shredder. Don't really need that. I use my hands for that. A um, little bit of Christmas stuff. I did pick up some things here that I'm going to look up. I have picked up uh, sick bricks. Not sure what that is. I got a high um, thermometer because it's a um, dollar today. I got a mirror for my booth, another mirror for my booth. I believe this is for your sponge, your kitchen sponge. That was cool. I'm gonna look this up. Remember these as made on TV? You fold your clothes. It's 89 for that. And then I got these are a dollar nine each, and they're needlepoint, um, needlepoint stockings. Um, probably thinking of getting the store, Lego Stormtrooper plush. This is some kind of baby christening something and it's I don't know I have to make sure it's all in one piece so I'm gonna look that up uh, morbid morbid keep it weird I didn't think it's morbid coffee or something this is a ceramic birdhouse it's really really cute no markings and a single Harry Potter bookend so that is what we're working with right now I haven't looked anything up or anything like that. I'm just trying to get around and look at all those cookie cutters. I wonder how much that is. Let's see. And the big old animal crackers. $2.24. You know what? That's not bad, but they're kind of basic cookie cutters. I'm looking for different kinds for doing the um, clay, possibly the metal ones. Treasure water ball. All right, so we'll keep looking. Uh, nothing in the plastics to speak of. It really has to stand out to me for me to want to get it here in the plastic aisle. Um, again, a lot of the same stuff here. They're not getting many donations for some reason. Well, I don't really need any of this stuff right here. So I think that's going to be it for the plastic aisle. There's still poo on the shelf. Nobody picked that up. I think that's for your potatoes thick spiral and a ribbon cut and I really don't see anything else there's a sugar skull under there new probably from the Dollar Tree or something and uh, no idea what that is but it's interesting uh, it's a kitchen HQ no idea what that's for maybe for crushing cans oh look at the sugar smacks Look at the sugar smacks. That might be older. Let's we'll take a look at that. And here's another tray. Made to look like burl wood. That does have some age to it, but it's nothing nothing really exciting. Oh, they have a cheese it container. They have Ritz container. They have a Cheerios container. I wonder how old these are. They're really cool. All right, I'm gonna have to pop those into my cart and see. Give them a look over. And I'm not seeing anything else. I don't think I'm gonna get the Ritz bits. Well, maybe I will. We'll check them out. The Cheerios one, that doesn't excite me, so. All right, we'll put that in the cart and we'll deal with it at a later time. I don't really see anything else here in the um, plastic aisle. Sometimes you can find something that's not plastic in the plastic aisle. Ooh, Ron John Shirt Surf Shop. That brings back memories of living at the shore and hanging out at the shore. Okay, gonna move on. So here's a suspicious Santa. I just thought he was cute. Um, he is some kind of shaker. He's quite large for a shaker. Uh, I don't know if I'll find a match to him anywhere. Oh, look at this. 
cool cats. They're all cat dishes. Dollar thirty-nine. And you got another kitty and another kitty. Um, this was cute. I was looking at this. It is a Mason Cash uh, pet dish for a dollar thirty-nine. It does have some kind of writing on the bottom there. Maybe I'll look that up and see because I have some Retriever fans that uh, are buyers. I do sell stuff on my channel. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and comment underneath. Um, you can always pre-register for my channel. The info is always in my description area. There's an interesting book. Whoops. All right. And there's still another one in there. I'm trying to get this one out. Oh, I don't know. It's really thick. And it's got a fruit sticker and it. it's $7.09. So no, we're not going to get that. It is nice, but it is $7.09. And this is cool, but it's sticky and icky. It's got caca schmutz all over it. So we're not going to mess with that. Um, I don't see anything unique that's standing out here to me. This is cool. Um, and there's a pink one with another pattern on it. They're kind of nice. But I'm not seeing anything special. Anything special. These are nice. They're $2.09 a piece. They're pretty. They don't sell for me at the booth. I looked at this one too. This is nice. It's a Lily of the Valley plate. And it's a dollar nine, but it is not marked. But it's really pretty. I just don't know, you know, what you do with it. There's some milk glass dishes here. But I think people are into more of the vases and stuff. Then we have these, which I love the bold prints. This is Euro something, Classica collection. We have some snowmen. Um... We'll keep looking though, we'll keep looking. I'm gonna stay here a little bit, but I haven't been staying as long as I usually do. Those are very pretty. I like bold, I like bold. This is cute. This is cute. Um, false graph, believe it or not. Um, so, we'll keep looking. I couldn't um, video down the knickknack aisle because there was too many people there. It was, it was nuts, so. Okay, I figured I'd show you the cooking aisle here too. There's some neat teapots down there, silverware. I don't know what this is. It's acrylic. It's very, very cool looking. That's that's nice. Maybe it's for uh, DVDs or CDs or something. Um, the mystery pink object is still here. I guess nobody wants to touch it. So I guess it's going to stay here forever. Remember the choppers? Remember doing that? Chopping all that stuff? Oh man. What is that? A chestnut roaster. <gasps> oh man, why is it in with this stupid bowl? How much is that? $3.24. I just want the chestnut roaster. Oh man, it's got little chestnuts on it. How much was that? $3.24. I wish it was two something. Darn, 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 darn. Oh well. I really don't need the bowl. It's not necessary. We just want the chestnut roaster. All right, so that's what's here in the cooking stuff. I'm not seeing much in the mugs. They're just starting to put stuff out now, so we'll see what we can find here. Um, nothing really. What is that? Cointro. I checked over here too. These were pretty, the paisley glasses. I like those. But I'm not really seeing anything new here like I usually see. Very slow. I guess a lot of people aren't doing their spring cleaning until they get their taxes. Um, looking at these, don't really see anything that I like. So um, we're just going to keep moving on. This is pretty. This is really pretty. This is a pretty basket piece, but it is um, 709 and I just don't do good with the big pieces like this. But it is beautiful, it is beautiful. It is a very nice piece. I just can't do anything with it. Maybe somebody else can. Um, I don't know. I don't really see anything that I wanna grab here yet. Maybe they'll put some stuff out in a little, little while. 
metal. Didn't really see anything I like here. Ooh, this looks like old pewter. It is. Look at that picture. That's an oldie. 309 and 209. It's got a big dent in it, so we're not going to worry about that. What is this? This is a cute little Coca-Cola tin. I like that. That's cute. 209. Now, I would have got it if it was 109, but I don't think, I don't know how much I could possibly sell this for, so um, it is cute. It is a cute Coke tin. I don't know how many Coke collectors I have, so things are a gamble when I don't know I have the people to buy them, you know, but it is cute. It's got a nice design on it. It does open. It is clean inside. Um... Nah, I really don't need that. I don't need that. I'm trying to discipline myself. Trying. That's the key word. Here's some pretty trays. Floral tray and a pumpkin tray. It looks like a Christmas one underneath. There's another tray. I'm not really seeing anything here that I really want to explore yet in this aisle. So we are going to move on. Okay. All right, we're going to try to get through this aisle. These just got put out. That's beautiful cut glass right there, but it's 709, but it's gorgeous and super heavy. Oh, look, the Ray Dunn Teacher's Things, 209. That's cute. It's cute. Um, every time I come down here, there's people in the aisle, so I don't want to disturb them when they're shopping. Uh, so we're just going to try to get through this, and I'll show you. I did get a couple things. Put them in my cart, so um, I'm just leaving my cart here. Not really a lot of stuff. That cross is still here. I'm surprised. Oh, look at this. It's like a faux faux crochet cactus oh it does something 309 let's see if it lights up no nope. i guess the battery's dead this was kind of pretty too uh blown glass it looks like it's got cracks in it though see the cracks go down the design so i'm not getting that um some bells stuff like that a dish christmas tree um this is pretty too with the bottle brush in it, the iridescent. And not really, oh, this was interesting. This is really thick. It's a thick piece of pottery and it's a face with holes in it. It's really cool. Probably worth a million dollars, right? 209. It's not signed. It's peculiar, but it's really cool. Um, here's a chip Starbucks. Not really seeing much on that front there. This is is pretty. It's got some age to it. U-P-S-O-U-S-A for $1.39. I don't know. Not crazy about it. That's a cool vase right there. Um, this was pretty, but the porcelain flowers, of course, are chipped. That would have been a really nice vanity tray to pick up. And um, that's that side. And we have this side here. Um, I know I seem to go fast, but I already saw the stuff, so I don't really want to go through it again here, because there's really nothing to grab. That was a cool vase up there. There's your uh, cookie jar goose with the blue bow. This was a cool vase, too. I like that design. It's kind of like squeezed in on the sides. 209, it was from Marshalls, but it's still cool looking. I like the colors and I like the geometrics on it. I think this is a warming trivet. Celestial, no price on it, so we're not going to get that. This is a beautiful bell, again, no price on it. So here's a ball, balls, 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 ceramic ball. This I took a picture of, you guys probably saw it a few seconds ago, and it says big gift energy, and there's Santa flashing with a little uh, gift box in front of him. Um, yes, it reminds me of that song um, from... Saturday Night Live. This is cute, but it's got a chip in it. And I think 
that's it here for, for now. I'm going to keep coming back and checking and seeing what else might show up because they're bringing out um, they're bringing out their carts to put stuff on the shelf. So uh, went to the art. We'll see if we can go to the art. It's still people over there. So let's give it a try. Here's the art. Uh, not much here. The Dutch one's cute. Um, those are still here. Oh, that's pretty. The pressed flowers made and paper. That's really cool. This sign. 109. That's a really pretty piece. That's a nice cottage core piece. Wish there was a second one though. Maybe there is. No. I don't see anything that's similar. That's pretty. Here's a a fish. A fish picture. And Winnie the Pooh. I really like that pressed flowers. That's really nice. I don't know where I put it though. But it is pretty. That's okay. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. Uh, our friendship. Somebody framed that and they donated it to Goodwill. That's kind of sad. There's an old rose botanical print. I'm um, not seeing anything here that strikes me. Oh, pretty birds. We got birds. I don't know what that is down there. But they're nice. Nice colors, very uh, striking. This stuff up here too. Okay, that's it for the art aisle. Not much to talk about here. So I got these and they're like baptism or christening sets. They're only a dollar nine each. They are vintage. It says that word creationis lyze JM. There's the other symbol, MX. Um, it's the candle, it's the book, it's the shell. Um, another one has a handkerchief with it, another one has a garter with it. Um, the candles have been burnt, the top has been burnt. I just thought they were cool, but, and they're definitely old. And when you open the books, the books are in Italian. So I don't think I'm gonna get these. I think it's kind of risky to get these. I don't have anybody that really collects that kind of stuff. So I think I'm going to put those back. But I did get a blue sky pottery um, house here. Um, I got a teapot that's a sewing theme. A sewing pot. A teapot. So that, that's a good deal. Um, so I'm going to put these back now and um, take a little, little walk around a little bit more. So I'm in the mishmash aisle and we have a Star Wars Mandalorian design markers design of vinyl Grogu. It's a dollar nine, so somebody might like that. Um, I also picked this up for myself here. It's an artist turnstile, so when you're working on something, you could just turn it on the turnstile and you can angle it too. That way you don't have to touch anything, which is pretty cool. Um, they have some Lexmark ink here today. They have, I always get labels and stuff. That's usually a good deal on this. Matte white labels. I might get those. See how many are left in there. And um, yes, tons of hair, tons of hair. What is this? This is fur and it's like part of a costume. We don't need that today. That's a cool holder. A blue book, interesting. Use your imagination, blue book, okay. Um, there's a bat in there, and um, not really seeing much else of anything good. This is cool. What is this? Uh, that might be a hammock. Yeah, it's something that hangs. All right, well, we don't want to get that. We're not going to attempt to do anything like that. I don't see a lot of ribbon or anything like that. Child is singing. And uh, I'm looking here. There's a pretty egg here, but it's broken, unfortunately. And chair cover. And not really much else here, but we do have a huge tote of hair. Huge tote of hair and braids, as usual. Oh, look at that one's gray hair. That's interesting. Jumbo braid. Cool.
Well, at least we know the hair is non-flammable. So that's good. Uh, yeah, this is all hair. All hair, all hair. And some other stuff in there. Okay, I think that's it for here. So I was thinking of this, but I'm not. It's just too big. It's a Pampered Chef Family Heritage Stoneware piece. You can see the bottom there. And it's 509, but it's just too big for me to handle. This is pretty. It's got a lot of weight to it. Um, I thought it'd be signed, but I can't find a signature on it. There's some uh, hobbyist pieces here. Here's uh, Family, a Happy Family is an Early Vision of Heaven. There's just really cute. I showed a picture of this before. I didn't know if you guys could tell, but it's got bunnies going all the way around it. Isn't that cute? That's a dollar nine. I'm trying to be more selective, guys. Um, these are coasters, I guess. They're really cool. There's only three, though. Not a set of four. So, um, here's a little teapot. And I don't know if it's signed. I'll have to check check that out in a minute. And that's about it that they brought out. I did get more stuff. I'll do a recap soon. I think I'm going to be leaving. So, okay. All right, so I'm in the frames. I found this beautiful carved wood frame here. I might be grabbing that. Um, this says espresso yourself. And this one says job a nice day. Those are kind of cool. Um, let me see what else we have here. This looks like a signed, yep, that's a signed print of some sort. Um, which is that, 309. Um, nom, 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 nom. There's a, I forget what they're called. That's a thick frame. This caught my attention here. Oh, they're all animals. So you have the zebra, you have the flamingo. They are 309 a piece. Okay, cool. That's neat. Um, that's about all I see. I think I might pick up this frame. This one interests me a lot. So we will put that in the cart. I did get a little bit of clothes, not much. It's very hard to get clothes here now. Oh, look at there's another one here. This one's framed and it's Butoni 1928 Frederico Seneca. That's kind of cool. And this is still here, so I might get that as well. Um, I got the clothes, I got the teapot, the Mandalorian, the sponge rest pottery. I got a bunny on a nest. I got the needlepoint, um, the needlepoint stockings. I got this adorable cat with the pond and the goldfish. I picked up, these are old Italian figures. Whoops, the sticker came off on. Ah, I hate when that happens. It's not sticking because he's plastic, but he's old plastic. So I got him and I got another cherub here. I got this basket uh, made in Italy. I got this tile. Um, it's made by Parabic, something like that. The turnstile, I got a cookie monster that talks and shakes. So that's cool. I had to get this uh, Siamese for obvious reasons, for those of you that know me. Um, I picked up these two pieces of pottery. It says Celadon. Thai Celadon, and then these are uh, signed by somebody too, these plates. I don't know if they're the ones that Norma told me about the name, but um, they're really pretty. There's two of them, and they are signed uh, Harry or something, and then Mark 1975. So um, I thought I was going to go, and then I said, let me walk around. Does that one have a chip? Oh, that one's got a chip on it. I don't care. I like them anyway. It's still worth it. Still worth it. They don't have to be perfect. We're not perfect. Why should our ceramics be, right? So that's basically what I have as of right now. Oh, and the little 
retrieval dish made by uh, Mason Cash Designs. So I'm going to look through these again, see if there's anything else I might. I do like this. How much was this? 109 yeah. I'll get that for $1.09. And um, that's kind of neat that that's signed. Um, Frederico Seneca. 309 Not my thing, though, the cooking stuff. You know, the cooking theme. Cooking theme things. So, um, this is a pr I love these botanicals. I love these botanicals. That is so nice. But what is this scene? There's a rooster. And what else do we have here? Let me put that here to get it out of the way. This is pretty. Ooh, I like this. I wish that was a painting. That's an oldie. Look at the cabin by the lake. Oh my. Let me see. That's 409. Now that's tugging at my heartstrings because that's like looks like the place I'd like to live. So I might have to pay up for that. Just for the fact that it brings out an emotional reaction in me. So um, and then when I get my cabin, I can hang it up. I'll see if it's printed on cardboard, it's going to be a little difficult for it to survive uh, till I find my place up north. But I'm not seeing anything else here. So that's basically the recap. Um, I'm going to go home so I can process this so we can make it a live premiere tonight. And um, thank you for watching, everybody. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Please comment in the comments under the video when it processes. Um, I do sell stuff on my channel, so another good reason to subscribe. And um, oh, I'm thinking about getting this one, too. I'm not sure. That one's kind of nice, too. I'll have to look that one up. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching. See you on the flip side. Have a good one. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.